may deprive all faith so as to rule others that have not love. If I give away all my possessions and hand over my body so that I may boast, but have not love, I give up. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own ways. It is not irritable or resentful. It doesn't rejoice in wrongdoing. Rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and believes all things. And then he concludes by saying, Faith, hope, and love are the greatest of these. Is love. In your life, in your new life together, I invite you to think of those words off. I invite you to think of those and possibly make that a model for your life together. And always have faith in each other. Faith that is also filled with trust. There's hope. I suspect in your mind's eye you have a dream of what you like to do. Do what you need to do. Celebrate together to make that dream. Love. Make that celebrate, lift it up, and look at each other always. Boom. Oh, that love is beautiful. Now, would you like to, to step forward and face each other? like to come up here? I think that would be great. And I'll ask for the rings and the hands. Ask you if you'd like to help hands. Dan, you take this woman, Julie, to be your wife. And you promise to remain faithful to her alone. Julie, can you take this man and Dan to be your husband? And you promise to remain faithful to your Lord. Prosperity and Prosperity and As long as we both show up. As long as we both show up. And yeah, there is. Let's stop right now. By these rings, these symbols of covenant promise, Gracious God, remind Julie and Dan of your encircling love, an unending faithfulness, that in all their life together they may know joy and peace in one another and in you. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token of constant faith, 
in total, in total and constant faith and abiding love. And abiding love. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token of constant faith. In token of constant faith. And abiding love. Dale and Julie, you have solemnly pledged to live together in the holy bonds of marriage, and have declared that before God in these witnesses. I therefore pronounce you husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord look down upon you and give you grace. May your home always be a place of peace and of blessedness, of love, of communication, of sharing. A place to look forward to. Oh God, may your spirit fill us in our lives again. Before we light the unity candle, there's a saying that I like very much that I would invite you to see tonight. It said, Christ is the light of the world and offers his light, his presence to all who call upon him in the spirit and in truth. Here, as you light the unity candles, two lives reach out to the light of Christ. Here are two lives do become one in love. Keep this candle burning always in your lives and in your life together. You do that always by sharing and caring and talking and finding out how each other did during the day and by saving time for the other every day. No matter how busy your days may be, Christ has given you light to begin your journey through life together. May your love live and grow through Him. Now you'll feel no rain, for each will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each will be warm to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each will be companion to the other. Now you were two bodies, but there is only one life before you. So go now to your dwelling place, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Go in peace and enjoy. Amen. You may kiss it. We have here. I'll drop in the music. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You get a close up on that. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.
uh, Manitowoc County? Yes. Oh, okay. Just I want to make sure I was, hey, ton of Mimi, I grew up in, in, in Manitowoc County, so well, it's my county. Well, just making sure, Rev. <laughs> Thank you. I will do that Three. eventually. Okay, I need the room signature, married name, read it, put it on the top. Room, that's me, I'm shaking. <laughs> okay, and you're changing your name? Yes. I'm okay, I'll wave you in this design. Yeah, that's a mouthful, it is. I oh, yeah, it's a mouthful, <laughs> it'll be much better. Uh, Premary name, if different, and then your married name. So you, you get to sign it twice. In this day and age, I never know who's using what name, so I always ask. <laughs> I always true. ask anyway. No, that's true. Can I change my name? No. Sure. I suppose, why not? I can't think of a better name than Dan right now. <laughs> Except for Walter. George. <laughs> Frankly. Good. Well, congratulations. Again, now, now it's official. Official. Yeah, it's official. And then I'll give you this. So you can prove it. It's and this is what I take to send in. Is there anybody object? Speak now. Too late. It's too late. No, sorry. <laughs> Get the duct tape off my mouth. <laughs> it's hot. Five folks were out of here. Thank you.